Sarah writes in, hello, I recently failed far with a 64. And I'm trying to pick myself back up after this. I just purchased your Ninja materials and would like to know where to begin. Which aspects of Ninja w- would be most helpful for me? I need help understanding how to proceed after failing far. So failed far with a 64, also using Becker. And okay, so the first thing to do is to evaluate how you're studying. So previously, you didn't use Ninja or you didn't add Ninja to your Becker course. Now, not only are you going to add Ninja to your Becker course, but you're going to study differently. You're going to study using the Ninja framework, which is nail the concepts, intense notes, nonstop MCQ, just rewrite your notes, and it all comes together. So the Ninja framework <clears throat> allows you to study more efficiently and effectively. So um, you want to study with Becker plus Ninja. So you would want to nail the concepts with your Becker materials, which means you get through your Becker lectures in a week and a half to two weeks. That's nail the concepts. Intense notes. While you are watching your Becker lectures, then you want to take really good notes. So at the end of the one and a half to two weeks, you have like this cool set of, or you're starting this cool set of like legal pads, this, this stack. So nail the concepts, intense notes, then you get to non-stop MCQ. This is when you switch over to Ninja MCQ and you start working Ninja MCQ, doing topic specific mini testlets. I'm not a fan. So Ninja has a learning algorithm where you can just just hit go and it will <clears throat> start feeding you questions based on what you know or don't know because it it's it's adaptive learning. I'm not a fan of, of doing that approach. I like doing the topic specific questions. So we're in the not some MCQ phase. Super important. While you're doing your MCQ, also take notes. So you have that you're starting that killer set of legal pads from your Becker lectures. <clears throat> and then that continues when you're using Ninja MCQ for um, the non sub MCQ phase. Then just rewrite your notes. So you can either rewrite your notes or you can rewrite the Ninja notes. A lot of people do that. And then it all comes together in your final review. And then what you want to do there is you want to watch the Ninja Cram. And, and, I would watch the Ninja Cram like the weekend or like a few days before your actual exam so it's fresh in your mind. You also want to start, so it all comes together in a final review. You also want to start working your your Ninja MCQ topics, weakest to strongest. Do 20 question mini testlets. So this is far, let's say that your weakest topic is not for profit accounting. So you do not for profit accounting, do a set of 20 and you score a 55. You do another set of 20, you score 65. You do another set of 20, you score 75. Boom, that's the magic number. It's just kind of an arbitrary threshold. You move on to your next weakest topic, which is leases. And then same thing, set of 20, set of 20, set of 20. And then you hit 75, mid 70s ish, move on. And that's how I would review all the while listening to the Ninja Audio all the while reading your Ninja notes as many times as possible. Put the Ninja notes on your phone, read it wherever you go, maybe even create like a shortcut, wherever like Instagram or Facebook was on your phone, maybe you trick, maybe you trick your thumb. So, you know, your, your your thumbs get that muscle memory. (laughs) Maybe you accidentally, oops, accidentally open up the Ninja notes every time. And then, okay, fine. While I'm here, I'll just read this stuff. It's boring, but whatever. And that's what I would do. So, um, then the other path would be, so that's a ninja as a supplement path. Then the other path would be the ninja only path, which instead of using your Becker lectures that you would use ninja sparring or ninja book instead of um, your Becker lectures, which for the nail of concepts, but everything else is the same. So you'll be fine. Hope that's helpful.